Hello everyone and welcome back to another Red Dead Online guide where today I'm going to be giving you some essential tips and advice that I feel that I need to share with you from my own personal experience from playing PvP in Red Dead Online. Now I feel like I'm pretty good at this game by now, I win a lot of the times and I have a pretty good kill death ratio so I guess I'm qualified to do this kind of video but yeah that'll be your judgement anyways. But there's definitely things that I've noticed when it comes to shootouts in Red Dead Online both in PvP game modes and and even the odd shootout in free mode. So here we go, here's 5 tips and tricks for PvP in Red Dead Online. So my first piece of advice to you is to make sure that your weapon is always ready in the form of the weapon being cocked and ready to fire. A lot of the guns in Red Dead Redemption 2 are manually operated weapons. That means once you've fired off a shot you need to engage a lever action in order to fire off another shot. The problem with this game is that your character doesn't always engage a lever action after firing off a shot, meaning that the next time you have to fight someone and you need to make that critical shot, suddenly your character's like, oh shit wait hang on, let me cock the rifle, BOOM! you're dead. This can happen at pretty much any time, even right at the start of the game where you know for sure you've yet to fire off a shot, but even then your gun might not be chambered. So my advice to you is, get in the habit of just tapping the aim trigger once in a while. This makes sure that your gun is ready to fire when you need it most because the last thing you want is a crucial kill lost just because your gun wasn't ready for the fight. This is especially true with shotguns where close encounters are pretty darn lethal. For my next piece of advice, let's talk about combat diving for a minute. Whenever someone combat dives in Red Dead Redemption, it scrubs off any auto aim that a rival player is using against them, leaving them wide open to a counter attack. However, under the bonnet of Red Dead Redemption lies a very unfortunate quirk with how the game shares the connection between one player and another. At times you may find someone perform a combat dive only for them to shoot you in the head immediately after they get up, like milliseconds once they're on their feet. This is normally impossible due to being unable to aim or fire while diving. Well, you can sort of aim, but it's very inaccurate. So what's going on? Well, don't quote me on this, but I think it's a simple case of latency. What's happening is that when you see someone performing a dive, what you're seeing is the aftermath of a lengthy connection between you and the other player. What's actually happening is that while the other player is diving, they've actually already made it halfway through the diving animation, while you're seeing them just starting to perform the dive, if that makes sense. Meaning that while the player appears to still be sliding on the floor, in actuality they've already gotten up and aiming at you. But you can't do anything on your side unless you manage to pull off an unassisted shot, so what can we do to counter this? Well, counter counter dive of course. And I don't mean counter counter dive after they've completed their counter dive. Perform your counter dive as soon as you see your rival performing one themselves. This will put you at an advantage since when you get back on your feet and you're able to aim again, your rival is still seeing you performing a combat dive on their screen, and it'll allow you to use this quirk yourselves to get that crucial kill. Combat dives also come in handy for when you're out in the open and there's no nearby cover that you can simply run to without getting your head taken off. You can perform a bunch of dives in a row to move from cover to cover. Of course this will very quickly drain your stamina, so maybe only try this once you've upgraded your stamina a bit. For my next piece of advice, it would be to always make sure that you're using the correct weapon for the range you're shooting the enemy at. While this may seem like egg sucking advice, I feel that in Red Dead Redemption 2, using the right weapon at the right time is more important than ever. In games like Call of Duty for example, you can on the most part get away with just using a standard AR rifle, but that's usually because the weapons in those games are fully automatic. Whereas as most guns in Red Dead Redemption are single shot marksman rifles so when you get up close to the enemy, make good use of a shotgun, and if they're far away then, well you get the idea. And the next piece of advice, we've been speaking of shooting this whole time, let me briefly talk about making shots myself. Whenever you want to shoot, always stand still. Red Dead Redemption 2 uses a bloom mechanic for aiming weapons, meaning that the more you move around and the more erratically you shoot, the more inaccurate you're going to be. So whenever you have to shoot someone, stand still. Even if the rival player is shooting back at you, resist the urge to try and dodge incoming fire. It doesn't work. Everyone's using the aimbot given to you by the game anyway, so what's the point? All you're doing is lengthening the amount of time it takes for your balloon to dissipate. This doesn't really matter that much when you're up close and personal with a shot Gun, but on the most part, if you want to get headshots at a fair distance, stay perfectly still. 
and if there's a separate player shooting at you while you're trying to shoot another person, then either find a nearby tree or something to defend you from that sideways player while taking pot shots at your intended target, or just kiss your bum goodbye and hope to hell that you manage to hit your target before that rival player hits you. And my final piece of advice for PvP would be... Deadeye. Let's have a talk about Deadeye for a moment. Unlike single player, where Deadeye slows down time and makes shooting a lot easier, multiplayer's real time time can't really be slowed down. So Red Dead Online's Deadeye makes up for that with the use of the card system. I'll make a separate video on this card system whenever I can, but whatever card you have equipped, I would highly suggest that you save your Deadeye for when you need it most. Like in the most wanted game mode, let's say there's a high value target far off in the distance and no matter how little bloom you have, you just can't seem to hit that mother well, this is a good time to make use of the Deadeye system. Since Deadeye completely removes all bloom, it essentially allows you to guarantee all hits on your target no matter how far away they are, unless they're so far away that you can't even lock onto them. Not only are you benefiting from the guaranteed hits, but obviously you're going to be benefiting from the added effect of whatever cards that you have equipped. Again, I'll have to make a video on this as soon as I can. And that's it, my top pieces of advice for PvP in Red Dead Online. Did you find this interesting? Are you going to try out these? tips and tricks let me know in the comments and hey if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon see you around folks